So before we get started, we go ahead and we just call upon the directions. Because when we do energy work, and tonight is going to be quite powerful work that we're doing, uh, I like to have all the directions called in. So we're in a wonderful sphere of golden diamond light. Uh, Sarah, we didn't hear anything from you. I, I did share. I think that's when you were calling Angela or... Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Can you just repeat one more time? I'm going to pause the recording. Perfect. Thank you. Sorry about that. I get sometimes distracted like that. Okay, so we're going to call in the directions. Here we go. So facing the east now, we're going to call upon Archangel Raphael, Raphael, Raphael. She is the master magician healer. Come be with us. We face now the south. Archangel Michael, 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 the warrior protector healer. He has the sword of light with unconditional love. He's going to help us to uncord us from the old, okay, in this meditation as well. So he's going to come in. We're going to get rid of all that. We face now the west and we call upon Archangel, Archangel Gabriel, come be with us. Let us understand the emotions, our connections, our dreams, our downloads. And then we face the north, we call upon Archangel Uriel. He connects us to the elements and uh, as well as the um, circle of life. And from above, we call upon Archangel uh, Metatron, Metatron, Metatron. Good, come down, be with us. He pulls down the Christ grade so that we can be resurrected and remember our divinity from within. Okay, and then we connect down to the center of the earth. And this is where we're working today with Gaia. She resides in that crystalline sphere in the center of the earth. So connecting down. When we do any form of spiritual work, we want to ensure that we are um, rooted and connected down into the earth so we can hold the energy. And this is what's happening today. As we go in, we're going to uncord from the old and ask for forgiveness, love instead. And we're going to record ourselves into the fifth dimension, into the new era and the crystalline earth that's coming forward. Okay, so Gashu, Relio, and Tirio. So we have the energy flowing. I'd like you to imagine yourself sitting in a beautiful golden egg sphere full of your love and your light. Good. All right. So before we begin the actual ceremony, now the energy is flowing. There are just some things that I want you to consider and take into mind. Okay. Observe what horizon and what has surfaced for you. Okay, through this time, can you make it, can you meet it with fierce compassion and wisdom and loving kindness? So whatever it is that's coming up for us that we're trying to get rid of, can we meet it with fierce compassion and wisdom and loving kindness and just embrace it until it changes into uh, a beautiful, beautiful um, lesson of wisdom okay so uh, tonight and tomorrow it is significant to usher in this shift of the old structure dying off and allowing for this new beginning so this is what we're doing tonight okay and we're also welcoming this tremendous power of being fearless see how we can all we kind of all said the same thing because we're all feeling it. The new era, the fifth dimension, it's so new that we're just practicing trusting with this fearless compassion and this fearless trust and being fearless. And this is where in the power lays. And this is where the unity consciousness lays. And this is why it's so wonderful to come together in this meditation, all right?
right? So this is what we're doing. We're doing several things. So I'm going to start the meditation now and I can't, you will get the recording so you can take notes and stuff later on. It is, uh, well, we're kind of running out of time, but we might go over a little bit. Is that okay with everyone? Good. Okay. I'm going to turn on some music. All right, and I'm also going to close my door because the neighbor's dog is barking. If you want to lay down, I kind of recommend it unless if you have a seated practice of sitting for, you know, we're not going to sit an hour, but I want you to be comfortable because the more comfortable you are, the more you can relax and the more this um, healing and this shift can go in. Okay, we're using your physical body to merge the sun and the moon energy and the earth energy. And then we're shooting it down to the earth. Okay, so you're going to be a vessel of light. And uh, I hope you all are, you came here because you're agreeing to do this, right? For Gaia. Yes. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, my friends. Okay, so make yourself comfortable. I'm going to close the door and then we'll begin i'll begin the music i'm going to share the music and i need one sound tech that will uh let me know if uh the music is a good volume okay i'm gonna bring that up Perspective. The Milky Way is said to be one of billions of galaxies in the observable universe. It contains between 200 to 400 million stars. The one most familiar to us being the Sun. The oldest star in our galaxy is 13.2 billion years old. Said to be nearly as old as the universe itself. And the Earth is about 4.5 billion years old. Distances are measured in light years, and the Milky Way galaxy is indeed 100,000 light years in diameter. The enormity and vastness staggers the mind and challenges the imagination, yet also gives some notion of where we fit in. Consider from this perspective our usual frame of reference and put the task. We are faced with a, chao a choice of abandoning our my 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 myopic vision in favor of safety. Allow ourselves to be overwhelmed by a sense of smallness and helplessness. Yet know that we are material from those very stars that inhibit the Milky Way. Thus, we are connected to Earth and to the entire universe at all times in life and in Let's take a few breaths and appreciate the vastness of who you are, your divine self. We're going tonight just work on to release old structures and reword ourselves into the new earth. Today's day one. 21 adds up to 23, which is the regal star of the lion, represents confidence, strength, and liberated courage. We're all asking for liberated courage. It's no coincidence why you beautiful leaders are here to be an assistant in this beautiful trend. And I think that this new year is beginning. For this ceremony, we're inviting the night, which is the great divine mother, to call upon the divine mother, Mary, 
resonates with the Mary to be here with us on this moment. And she asks us I accept and I hold all the keys to my heaven on earth. I accept and I create my reality with the power of my word. My word is my heart is pure. By the loving power of my pure I now recognize and accept my human experience as embodiment of my non over. Turn it down a bit. Oops. Better? Okay, good. Okay, she couldn't hear it. All right, fantastic. We continue. So we are asking Mother Mary to be with us. She is the Divine Mother. She's the most powerful, loving force in the universe. She's here right now with us. Mother Mary, please come here and help us with this divine feminine energy for this ceremonial and this transmission. The great one, the one who holds all the love and understanding and compassion. We ask you. We ask that this healing will be for your highest good for the highest good for all of humanity and in service of humanity as well as all of the universe. The earth energy and the moon energy will connect through you. And then I uh, will go down to the core of the earth, to the crystalline center in the earth for Gaia each of you will help Gaia increase the frequency and intensity of the magnetic field so that we can help with this ascension process into the new earth and into the golden age of unity and love. As we do this, we're going to increase the environmental magnetic field. And for you that were here for the Ularu and the new moon, you are absolutely already connected. Take a wonderful, wonderful deep breath now. And as well, calling in the energy of the diamond frequency. Imagine a beautifully cut diamond about a foot in size floating above your head. It is recalibrating the moon energy with the earth magnetic energy and it's now moving gently and slowly in the same rate as the earth simply gently Let's gather this beautiful diamond energy in combination with the mother Visualize this beautiful diamond shape hovering above your head. Feel that purified energy where it's pulling together energy from the earth. Feel yourself connected now. And allow this energy to first increase the magnitude and the power in your own energy field. Feel this energy. 
flashing blue. I'd like you now for a moment step back and remember as you were in your mother's womb. You were about to be born about nine months now and imagine yourself being born feeling now all of a sudden nurse connected face into the bright room Maybe feeling the hands and the plastic gloves of your doctor's hands as you come out. You found your way. And as you came out, eventually the umbilical cord was cut off. And as it was cut off, you felt this incredible energy surging into your body, all the programming from the earth. And you learn that the earth is beautiful, that the earth has so many good things to offer. You learn about the rules here on the earth and how we had to play it. But you also started to Get the information about sometimes you have to play the game of winning. And you also saw that some people had less and some people had more, and one thing was better than the other. But you knew you had to really come down upon this earth and you had to follow along. So you started live your life in that way. Being here now in life. Remember that. As we're now moving in to the crystalline part of the fifth dimension, I'm going to ask by Archangel Michael to come with you. As we start to forward away from old consciousness. Now there is a new birth still with these beautiful children being born now that are already connected into the fifth dimension. These are the crystalline kids. Now they built almost like a crystalline city is connected into the dimension of the earth. The new earth, fifth dimension, it's all about unity and love, community. Feel that golden earth feeling, connection. Belly now expanding and expanding. Start to see the divinity of everyone around us. There's a golden okay, opening now, the doorway for anyone to join us here. And we're now going to start to transfer from the old earth. And as we crack the door open, the golden light shining. Before we completely step over to the new earth and reboot ourselves, see if there's a whole form that we can sever so that you won't be pulled back. any old thing that's still tethering you to the old way. Fight that in now. Maybe it's a person. And if it is a person that you feel challenged by. Then 
them. Invite them now and connect to them the old way. Connect from chakra to chakra. Crown chakra, crown chakra. Third eye to third eye. Throat to throat, heart to heart. Third chakra to third chakra. Second chakra to second chakra. And root to root. Set yourself up with this person in this golden bubble as well. And just witness them. Thank them for their lesson. And if it's something that you'd like to tell them, you can tell them in the internal voice. Now, if you're sitting there in that beautiful light together, you can be with the old earth, it can be person or people. We now bring in Archangel Michael, and we see who is sitting there and asking for a severing. So he comes now, very close to me, with his sword of light that is filled with unconditional love. And as he now takes the form and the sword, pulls away, you can do this with your own hands, cutting the cords to the old now, with your hands slowly moving through all the chakras, cutting down, cutting down. And when you come over the navel, maybe there's such connection, maybe a little density and hardening there. Few more times. And now, as you cut the cords from the new earth, from the old earth, from that old people, from all the old ways of thinking and being, there is that same flood of energy pushing into you now, taking back your power. Forgiving, getting rid of anything that's stuck to you, oh, really stuck energy, maybe like give it back to them and take it back up, and then everything clears. You come back into your power, into your serenity, feel this deep flush of energy. You now are free. And now we look. And in comes Mother Mary. Here. Beautiful pink rose. She places this into your heart. And this rose is symbolizing just this wonderful golden pink light of the new earth. Now that we have a release, the umbilical cord to the old earth, we're now going to ask the beautiful crystalline children who's created a new earth, may I connect to the new earth? And as you ask, you shall receive. Yes, you may. Of course, you may. Now you take a brand new umbilical cord that comes from your earth. And you're connecting this umbilical cord into the earth. And you're now connected and severed into the new fifth dimensional earth of unity consciousness. Mother Mary is always here for you. And you're plugged in to the fifth dimension now. And cut and sever any old ties, ideas, and 
with every day with this unconditional divine love. You are now a pure and you're walking the beautiful sphere of light around you. Golden light and pink light now. And now as you sit in this golden pink bubble, remember the diamond energy. This diamond vibration now calibrating both the earth energy and the moon energy, the divine feminine comes through you now and gently and beautifully with a warm comfortable feeling goes through your head through your spine all the chakras and all of your body and even through the whole bubble of golden down through your pelvis and out through your legs and into your feet Good down to a new form to your new umbilical cord that comes from the heart, to the center of the earth, into Gaia, to Gaia, who welcomes you humbly her power, her love, her joy, and you are now connected. As this diamond shape now goes into the center of the earth, into the crystalline center, the energy is now shooting beams in all directions through the center of the whole earth. And this beam of energy, full of electromagnetic fire, shooting to every country of the earth. Healing beams are going to all heads of government in every country. This will enlighten all the governments of each country into unity consciousness, leading from love through your beautiful body, through you offering yourself to be here tonight. You are blessed and you are now helping direct this energy to the magnetic grid the beautiful body brilliant full of love to connect honor that know that you are ever in the new wonderful deep long inhale here and drop just a little deeper in now in your mind's eye your powerful mind's eye i like it now visualize the earth the beautiful blue ocean and the beautiful stunning blue sky that blue visualize the ocean and the blue sky make it out gorgeous veil around the earth like a beautiful bubble now around the earth including and inside the earth now everything the magnetic field is fired up calibrated it's integrated we are moving forward Visualize with your powerful mind now clean oceans of crystalline blue, perfect sky, perfect temperatures, smiling, playing children, the butterflies, the dolphins, all the animal species are coming back. And we're so happy. There's food for all and clean water in abundance. Visualize you're inhaling this richness of the new air that heals us, every cell of the body. All the trash is gone. 
and the animals are happy. I like you to hear the beautiful sound of earth now. And the sound is laughter. The sound is beautiful music, the most magnificent tones that you have ever heard in your life. Feel the vibration going through you and feel the vibration, the vibration of the sound of Om. The beautiful vibration of the healing sound of Om. Bring your hands in front of the heart now. And seal this in, knowing that you are powerful, that you are love. That you've taken all your power back and giving all of the rest back. Mother Mary is here once again with a powerful, beautiful heart. So gentle, so gorgeous so loving so vast thank you mother who resonates with the sound of mary to be here thank you all the angels to be here thank you beautiful gaia for receiving and thank yourself for being of service to this beautiful magnificent planet now feel the steady vibration of love rushing through your body. As we chant the sacred syllable Om three times, deepest breath in. Ah. you to remember the beautiful power that resides within you, the beautiful golden codes of golden diamond shimmering light and pink light. I want you to remember your rose in your heart from Mother Mary, the divine great mother. She's full of infinite infinite possibility and accepts everything in a loving and powerful way. I want you to remember the crystalline children and the crystalline DNA that is completely activated within you now as you accept this ascension into fifth dimension. You are love, you are divine, and you are powerful. We thank all the angels and archangels, all the ascendant masters and teachers, and all our masters that are here with us right now. To always, they're always here for us. Inhale fully, exhale, simply bow down into your heart mind. And as we go on and on in this new world, if you feel that you're falling back, just go into the golden bubble 
with pink light and a rose in your heart, connecting to the beautiful blue earth and the magnetic field that you have established and increase the frequency of. And remember your divinity. You are powerful. You are love. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you so much, everyone.